Hey guys, it's the ABC, and we are back for some more Let's Play Ticket, and uh, we are working on automating our um, smelting process. But we do need to eat some munchies real quick. So, did I eat all the chicken? Goodness, I'm such a hog. I feel real bad now. I don't have any chicken. That means we're going to have to go out and find some chicken or beef or pretty much anything as long as it's edible. Let's go check on the oil. Just look at the oil for a bit and maybe there will be something in the way. On the way. Ah, what a beautiful day. Sun's just coming up. We are walking towards black gold. Black diamond in Minecraft. As it says on the forum. Taking a nice little refreshing plunge into the water. Sprinting through the forest, looking at the indigenous sheep population, of which there appears to be massive numbers. Oh, there's more oil here. Cool. I didn't even know that. That's pretty sweet. We have torches here so I can mark it. I don't, I don't really feel we need another waypoint uh, this close to the other one, but we can leave four torches like that. And that will that'll help me remember that there is something important there. There's an oil spout here as well. That's the one we originally found. And then there is this, the random tree in the middle of the wasteland. So congrats for you tree, well done. And then there's sheep everywhere, but there does not appear to be an edible animal anywhere in sight. Because unfortunately, Minecraft does not allow you to eat lamb. That looks kind of cool. A refreshing, like, bath. Yeah, check that out. Should probably put our backpack on our back. Uh, fully charged up, so wearing our static boots won't really do anything. But uh, it does save an inventory space. We should probably get some food soon because we're getting hungry. Ah, uh, chicken! Goodness, he's a ninja chicken. get one more. Eh. Make it an even. Make it an even three. Alright, so we can just go back to the work base, uh, cook, cook these up, and then stick them in the condenser, and we will have instantly as much chicken as we need. I can't believe I forgot to make sure that we have one on hand in case I need to condense, because that could have been very bad if we didn't find that chicken. I would have been starving. trees in this area. I like that. Nice little forest with lots of sheep just wandering around. Oh, my hunger is getting to me. I can't think straight anymore. the electric furnace, which should keep working, uh, and it should stay there as well, and not be piped out because we aren't powering the engine. Uh, so while we're waiting for that, we should probably fix this situation, uh, because we need the, we need the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, whatever, the dust to go in from the top. So that shouldn't be too hard. 
but we will need to use stone pipes. We'll have to move that over, so that's fine. And so now we're no longer about to die. Let's go ahead and condense some more chicken. You know what? We'll use we'll use the tungsten. We'll make a tungsten chicken. Have a little bit of a tang to it. Yeah, look at all that chicken. So why not? We'll just leave the chicken in with our goodies. We can actually take uh, a couple with us to nibble on. So this has to go. Actually, no, it didn't. That one's fine right where it is. But this has to go. Where's my... There's my wrench. Damn it. Armor. How much electricity does that box have? Wow, this is full. That box is full. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we'll have to punch out the uh, wood. Uh, we can get rid of these as well. Because they will have to go somewhere else. Alright. So. Right now we have a working system here, it gets pumped out of the chest and straight into the macerator at the top, which is where we want it. And then the refined dust comes out this way, and then we need to put a um, put the furnace right there. We'll have to pop out that wood piece and replace it with cabling. There we go, so those will be powered now. Yep. And we'll have to put a wooden pipe here, um, like this. Okay, and that does not connect to the other one, which is good. And a stone transport pipe here. Okay, so there we go. And that is indeed the output, so we'll keep going that way. Okay, so now what we have is, we have this one is going to be powered as soon as we hit the lever that we've already installed. Um, which we should probably... I don't know, can we put a lever... Like... Hmm. I don't know. Can we do it out from the inside somehow? Probably. Um... We'll work on that in a second. First of all, we have to get these powered. So we have to put two engines down. Like that, and like that. No. Um, there we go, okay. So you can use a wrench to reorient um, engines as well. And then we can easily connect all of these with redstone. Like so, so that they'll all work at once. I think. Maybe. No, it does not appear to be working. Okay. So maybe secondhand redstone doesn't work and we need an actual lever there. I don't see any monsters yet, so we might as well work in the night. Okay, yeah, that'll work. So I wonder why it won't let us use redstone. See, that one will work, but that one won't. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, come on. Yep, I think it's time to get inside. We'll just sleep through the night real quick and get back to work. Because daytime is preferable to nighttime. Because creepers do not spawn in the daytime and ruin all of your hard work. And I left a hole in my house, and I hope I don't get attacked. Nope, didn't. Awesome. That's pretty cool, actually. There's a creeper there. Let's go kill him. Ah. Stupid zombie. Stayed out past your bedtime. Woof. Knocked him real far. Wow. Alright. Alright. 
so I think we can use uh, something called red uh, conductive conductive pipe. Uh, this one. Okay, so we need redstone and stone transport pipe. So we have both of those. We can make them right here. We don't need a lot though. Let's make like five. And these carry current. So I think that these might allow us to hook everything up to one lever. Or not. I would like to have it all connected to one lever if possible. Um, I'm actually not sure. That doesn't do anything, obviously. Um, scratch that. I'll look at them more later. Right, now, we could just use standard levers for now. You can always shut it off later. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that the piping is set up correctly. Um, we we'll need stone pipes. All right, so those need to go like that, and that'll work just fine. That'll hook everything, take everything from the macerator, and put it straight into the furnaces, and then from the furnaces. Uh, it will come out the back, uh, it'll take the output of the furnace, which will be, you know, the cooked uh, bars. Take those out the back and through here, and the iron pipe will make sure that it only goes this way, and then into the chest. So it should work. Let's go ahead and turn all of our levers on, and see what happens. Alright, so here's, here's a bar. Or sorry, an ore. That's just slowly being moved over this way. I'm gonna take the gold out so it doesn't cause problems. I'll show you guys a way to fix that later. All right, so it's now in the macerator, being macerated, and should be uh, should be turned into dust fairly shortly. is pumped out this way whenever the engine completes a stroke. And then it will go into the furnace and I think that the way that I have it set up now that will be one into each which would be excellent. That one goes past and this one should go down I think. No that one goes past as well. Interesting. Okay. So then it's cooked in the furnace and once that's done, the engine pulls it out, as you can see right here, and then it's going the wrong, oh, the pipe is oriented the wrong way, right, we need to fix that, there we go, okay, so we need the clear one, the clear one is the exit, so it'll, it should bounce, no, okay, it gets stuck in there, but it'll be pulled back out again by the engine, okay, so that's fine. And then it will go that way into the chest. So there we go. So obviously this isn't the best process in the world, you know. Um, it's it's all right, you know. It'll get the job done, but it could definitely be more efficient. So what we'll need to make it more efficient is make the dusts get refined faster, because the macerator is the slowest part of the process. As you can see, there's a bunch of ore building up, and we have two furnaces, and they can both handle the ore and it's, it seems to be alternating now between the two of them. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to make sure that the macerator is going a bit faster and there are two ways to do that. We can either build another macerator or we can build an overclocker. So let me show you how to build an overclocker. There we go, overclocker. So you build it like this, you need coolant cells, copper cables, and electric electronic circuits. And coolant cells are made by extracting a water cell and a water cell is made with an empty cell and a water bucket. An empty cell is made with four tins in a row. We'll make 16 empty cells. So I'm glad now that we got that water bucket. We'll just let this continue to go uh, while we wait. And it's all tin. Yeah, that's all the tin. So we'll just, we'll just let that go. And uh, let's go ahead and fill in the floor again. And, um, should be wood, right? There we go. Okay. 
So there we go. It is working. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is get our rubber out of here. No, we don't. We already got the rubber out. Excellent. So we need to make um, we need the water first, and we need to get our tin. Let's quickly get rid of all the crap in my inventory I don't really need. Oh no, gunpowder goes somewhere else. Uh, the dust can chill in here though. I'm just gonna stick this chest down to put all my random crap that I'm using while I'm working. I should probably keep that axe in case we have to dig up the floor. Alright, there we go. Keep the wrenches on us. And the levers can go. Um, and we'll keep the cables as well. And some pipes. Alright, but we will need um, some tin, some cooked tin. And as you can see, the tin is slowly going up as bars are pumped into the chest. Fairly slowly. But it is, it is happening, I assure you. Uh, Methinks. Maybe. Oh, there's some. 24. Yeah. Right, so we don't need tons of... T we don't need a lot of these cells. We only need one or two. Really. So I'll just uh, go ahead and make empty cells. And combine them with the water to make water cells. And you use one bucket and one cell to make one water cell. But you keep the bucket. So let's go ahead and head down to the river and get lots of water. And this is a bit tedious, yeah, but it is, uh, it works. And we are accidentally messing up the water flow, which is not what I was trying to do. Oh, yeah, I'm not trying to do that. That's really weird that that's just kind of chilling there. There's a skeleton somewhere, but he is not my problem. Uh, we'll just go ahead and make 12 of these, and we can keep the rest of the cells for later. There we go. And let's try and see if we can fix this water. Because it looks just a bit silly. Um, so if we take from here, let's fix. There we go. Okay, so that'll fix itself. So we can take water from there and fix this situation. That's mostly fixed. There we go. And right there. Doesn't do anything. We'll just leave it. It's not like it's a huge issue anyways. Uh, but we do now have our coolant cells. Or sorry, not coolant cells, our water cells. And we're going to extract them in the extractor. That's the generator in the extractor to get uh, coolant cells. And we can use the coolant cells to make overclockers. And the overclockers will uh, work more effectively. And what the overclocker does, basically, uh, is it makes the machine work faster, but at the cost of higher electricity. Uh, higher electricity usage. But we have um, solar panels, so we have basically infinite electricity, and it's stored in a whole bunch of back boxes, so we have a lot of stored up. So uh, that really shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think. But uh, our tin is slowly going up. We're up to 32, 33. And the cells should really be over here in the tools section as well as the coal.
and um, you may notice that this redstone engine has turned green, and that means that it is working faster than the other than uh, than it was originally. Um, and with other engines, this should make you a little bit worried because uh, if they there's uh, four different colors that it can be. It can be blue, which means it just started out. It can be green, which means it's a little bit warmer, a little bit faster. And it can be orange, which means it's kind of getting hot, and if it's like flickering orange red, then it's about to explode. But the thing is, redstone engines will not explode as long as they're powering something. So, uh, redstone engines, uh, you want them to be at red, because that means that they are peak efficiency. They're, they're working as fast as they possibly can. Let's go ahead and take a nap. Why not? Nice and daytime. There we go. Grab our... We only got one coolant cell. It doesn't work all that fast, in case you haven't noticed. And you can only do one at a time, too. Which kind of sucks. Uh, you can stop pumping. There's no need. And I would definitely like to figure out a way to uh, hook up those uh, from the inside so that we don't have to uh, walk outside to access it. But I'm sure that uh, as I look through the mod, um, I'm sure that there's something that we can use that'll fix that. So, um, if you're wondering where the overclocker will go, how we use it, uh, it goes in one of these slots over here, and basically what these do are their upgrade slots. So, um, you can just stick a bunch of overclockers in there, and that will make it go faster, and same thing with the extractor, which we'll probably need to do first. I think we'll do that first, yeah. Alright, so, uh, overclocker. Okay, so we need circuit, uh, cable, and coolant cells, so that's not bad. Uh, we have cables on us, but we will need, um, another circuit, which means we'll need some redstone and iron. Let's go ahead and make three circuits because I would like to make three overclockers. And um, let's go ahead and get those made. Ah, I'm an idiot. Needs to be refined iron. Excellent. There we go. And let's go ahead and make us some overclockers, but let's grab this first. Alright. Cables. Actually, I only think we have enough to make two. show you we can just go ahead and put both the overclockers right there and as you can see that makes a makes a big difference as to how fast the extractor works so let's go ahead and make it one for the macerator as well that is a coolant cell apparently you can combine two into one I don't know what the purpose of that would be but apparently you can do it Now we just stick the overclocker right about in here, and we will take the gold. Uh, where did I put the gold? There it is. We can macerate the gold. And we'll just, we'll just stick it right in. We don't need to add the extra step. So it's not a ton faster because there's only one overclocker, but uh, once this is done, I'll take the overclockers out of here and stick them in the macerator, and that will make it go considerably faster. And as you can see, our engines are now orangey red. Working nice and quickly. Alright, so we have one macerator, one overclocker now. We're going to stick the rest of them in, and I'll show you just how fast it goes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we had some copper. 
in here, yeah. Okay, so there are a few things that you should be warned about uh, if you're going to make something like this. First of all, don't put anything that's supposed to go into the uh, output slot into the input slot because it'll back up your machine. So like, um, if we put copper dust into this chest and then we hit the button, the copper dust would indeed fit into the top slot, but you it wouldn't do anything. So basically the entire thing would get backed up and you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Which obviously is not something that you want. So um, now our furnaces are... You know, they're not really getting backed up, but they are going a little bit slower compared to the macerator. So we can go ahead and make a overclocker for each of them. Although we will need more coolant cells. So... Let's go grab a bucket, and go get some more agua. And really this isn't a hard process, it's just one that takes a bit of time. Ouch, broke my legs. Now I want to take this from some place that's not going to screw up the whole thing. Okay, that screwed up the whole thing. Damn it. Don't laugh at me, sheep. I'm a novice. Oh, and I didn't bring any... Didn't bring any cells with me. Derp. Derp, 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 derp. Yeah, this bat box is full up. That one's almost full. So we might need to upgrade our power supply. Not our power supply, but our power... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? Power storage, uh, eventually. Right now, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think we have one, two, three, four bat boxes, and they each can hold, what was it, 40,000? Okay, they can each hold 40,000, and they're all full. So that's 160,000 EU that are currently being used. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's all macerated up. That's all cooked up, so I guess it's just uh, all done. So I will make some more overclockers on my own time, and probably only one or two. Uh, one to stick in the extractor, and one to stick in each furnace, so that they go a bit faster. Uh, that's all my time for today, guys, so thanks for watching. Catch me next time, we're going to see what's going on in the world later. Bye.